Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to access the image and display the image using the fetch API. Let's try to see this one. Why? Because up to now we have seen how to how to get the JSON data and how to parse the JSON data using response.json, which returns a promise, and displaying all those JSON data, we have seen it. And also we have seen how to display the text data also if you are getting other JS, uh, if you are getting text data other than json data means so you can use response.txt in the same scenario if you are trying to fetch the image from the server so using the fetch api method how we can display that image in the browser let's try to see in this video so here i am having some simple thing mm, uh, let's remove this one all okay so here i am having one simple thing first one is let's say that I'll be having one button, 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 sorry, button, and here I can have ID is equal to show image, and we can have something like show image. So I need when I click on this button, I need to show image, which is a local image. I already uh, pasted here, so this is the image dot png, which is present in the same path. Now here I'll be having something like at the bottom, so I'll be having like this and i can take something like this image so this is the simple thing so i want to show this image here by taking the button so let's create a file something like mm, main.js okay so this is the main.js i am creating here i am using main.js main.js now in the main.js first capture the button element sorry uh, that image element sorry button button element only which will click the image right? which will show the image button element is equal to document dot get element by id of show image so this is the id we are having and let image element also will try to take it image element document dot query selector we can use it and we want to get the img image that's it so we have only one one, thing. one element with image so button element dot add event listener so when this one is clicked we need to show the image here i will be having the and you need to show the image so the direct method is for example if your uh, image is in the same path so what you can do here image element dot src is equal to or otherwise you can here you can have let otherwise here we can have let image url is equal to slash image dot png so this is the image which i am trying to show and dot source is equal to directly i can paste this one image dot url okay now this is the common method so if you try to see the output let's try to see the output so if you try to see the output so the, here this is the output right so now if i click on the show image see here i am able to see the image so which is uh, somewhat uh, pretty big so let's try to make it uh, less so it is equal to 30 percent or something like this or otherwise i can use 20 percent so just say uh, design uh okay, leave it aside so now we are able to see the image when i am clicking here i am able to see the image so this is present in your own path so that is the reason you can get it but for example if you want to get it from the third party if you have an url it's okay fine but there are the there but there will be some third party url in which you need to pass some headers uh, so in order to get that message uh, sorry to get that image and all those things means then you need to use the fetch api right so we'll try to use the fetch api so here so whenever you are you are trying to pass the uh, headers and all those things right now we don't have we'll try to do this one only so fetch of image url sorry image url so you can, if you want you can pass some headers and all those things and you will get the response okay and let's try to uh, return response.json so first we know the json thing so we'll try to use the json response.json we know that that one is an image okay and dot then data so we got the data and let's do console.log of data console.log of data okay so this is the data which i am trying to do it now if i try to refresh this page and if you go if i go to the console and if you see the console here I click on the show image see we are getting a some error why because it is not a valid json yes it's a image so it's a image thing so the fetch url when you are trying to get this type of images and all those things so you should not use the json it you will be getting a blob data 
okay a blob data will be written so for that reason what you need to do you need to use the blob so now when you get the blob here you got the data and now if you are trying to do the show image so here you'll be able to get the size blob and all those things okay now i need to show this image in the bottom i need to show this image how can i show this image so uh, so normally in the browsers due to security reasons what it will try to do is when you are trying to upload the file using input type is equal to file and you want to show the image due to security reasons it cannot show the image in your own uh, disk okay when you are getting the image from your own disk so it will be written a blob when you are trying to return a blob you need to convert it into somewhat a resource url okay in the browser memory itself or if normally if you are getting from the third party you will be having a new url you can directly show it as a new url but here you are you are having a blob so you need to convert it into an url so that we can show it in the image dot source so how can we convert is we need to use the url url interface so here what we can do is let url is equal to or not url actually to image url or anything so yeah, let's url is equal to so you need to use the url interface dot create object url so here we have a blobby object and we need to create url from that one so the in that browser automatically it will frame this all a blob data into a url so here you need to pass the data that's it so now what i can do image url uh, sorry image element dot src is equal to url that's it now if you try to see here fetch data okay here i will try to do the fetch data and here we are able to get the same thing this happens in for the input type is equal to file also for example let's say that um, here i will be having one something like input type is equal to file so we have an input type is equal to file when the user uploads the file we need to show this image up, uh, up front at the output so here if you want to have let file element is equal to document dot query selector of input type is equal to file so i am using the query selector and here i can write something like file element that add event listener and here so off change so when this one is changed so when this one is change and here you will be getting the e sorry one is e event and here we'll try to do console.log of e so this is the basic thing and now let's go here and i am trying to do file i will be selecting some file which is uh, the youtube thumbnail and here you'll be able to see these all files and here you'll be having the file api so using the file api you can get the data so now what i want to do here so now here you'll be having e dot target dot files of zero so here you'll be having a file now if you try to see choose element and if i try to take it so here you'll be able to get the file name so which is a blob type so size you are having this all things here which is a blob type so now you got the blob type what i can do here constant file is equal to e dot target dot files of zero okay so here file blob we can say so we got the blob and what i need to do so constant url is equal to url dot create object url from the file block so you pass the file block and now image element we have the image element dot src is equal to url so now we can frame this url if you try to see the output this time show image you are able to get it and here show image url if i try to get it so here you will be able to see the so somehow we need to convert it into an url so that it can be able to the image element can be able to see it so here see so it has converted into a local browser in the browser memory it has taken the blob data it has it has framed into an url so that it can be visible to us so this is the usage of the url interface by using url interface we can convert any blob data into an url structure so this is about how to fetch the image from the how to fetch the image using the fetch api from the server and how to show that image upfront in the browser so this is the way we will be doing hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you